to them. Today we got ourselves a project. Uh, the other day I was at a store and my rear diff decided to go out just all of a sudden. I'll show you here. This is uh, what we're looking at. Nothing spins. Neither tire. So, went right out on the Silverado here. So I already got ahead of you. I got, got it all jacked up. What I did is I jacked it up on the frame. So the axle could hang. You can see down there. Already pulled the drive shaft out. Um, just these. I use 11 millimeter. I don't know if they're 11 millimeter or 3 8. So that's what I pulled. That's what I use with 11. So we're going to get going here. And I'll uh, keep you up on the video. And let you see what I'm doing. Wanted to show you guys a little trick here. When you pull your drive shaft out, you don't want these caps on the U joint to come out. So what have I what I've learned a lot of people do is get some electrical tape here. Oh, I broke it already. This tape is very bad tape, so it's probably not gonna work the best, but it should still hold the good. So we're going to take the electrical tape, you've got your U-joint here, wrap it around. This tape is not going to stick. It might stick to itself, but it's not going to stick to my drive shaft. So you just wrap it around here to make sure your caps don't come off your your U-joint. It might stick to itself. This tape is very very um hard tape and it's cold out which makes it even worse so so just run it around there a couple times and break it off so it doesn't come off and and then you're good to go now this u joint's all taped up and it won't come off so my next step pull the two metal lines off of this uh, valve here, the splitter, and I'm going to put a vice grip right there on the uh, rubber hose coming for the brake so I don't lose all my fluid. And as you can see, I had a bad seal over here. This is all uh, diff fluid, 80, 90, whatever gear lube. And I uh, already started pulling a little bit. I pulled this one off just to make sure these nuts on the U-bolt would come off and the axle would actually come out. So once we get that, then we got to unbolt the shocks. You can either unbolt them up here on the top, you can unbolt them on the bottom. I'll probably just do the bottom just to make it easier. And then my parking brake cable is broke, so I'm just going to cut the cable off and not worry about it. Then I'm going to pull the rotors and calipers off and so when this drops in the dirt and I got to drag it out, it won't be dragging the rotors and calipers and brakes through the dirt. I'll put you on time lapse so you can check out the whole the whole thing. Right now, pulling the brake lines, I got this one out. These were done not too long ago, so coming out real easy. I'm gonna pull this one here and pull this off. I got the vice grips on there already. Then we're gonna move on to the rotors and calipers and shocks. Aftermath, we got a broken pin and bent. And then a lot of metal chunks. This one's a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> this one's magnetized so is this one so I don't know what that's about but yeah so that's the aftermath this gear is still in there for the other side the pins were still intact though 